1989, a girl just above 10 was very, very brutally raped by her husband and died after you know, 13 hours of agony. And that embarrassed Lance down and he had to do something. He could not abolish child marriage because that's too firmly embedded in scripture. So he uh, thought that a halfway house compromise, not abolishing child marriage, but Hiking up the age of consent within an outside marriage would be a better solution that would please everybody. And age of consent is that, you know, you no conjugal cohabitation or cohabitation with a woman above 12 would be counted as rape. Uh, the penal code had defined 10 as uh, the age of consent. Now it was just hiked up by two years. But that led to the first Mammoth Street demonstration in our history. And it got mixed up with a whole lot of anti-colonial sentiments which were building up for a variety of really valid reasons from the 1870s. But it also got linked up with, a, a, you know, extremely conservative defense of everything Indian. And now the argument was that it violates a Hindu ritual of Garbhatha which is that when the wife reaches puberty, within 16 days of that, the husband and the wife must cohabit. Otherwise, her womb is contaminated and the children born to her are not allowed to make ritual offerings to ancestral spirits. The other staking point was that in this case, the husband would be also classified as a rapist. And as we all know, marital rape is still not criminalized to this day. And even Vidya Sagar said that, okay, you can hike up the age if you want to, but do not make it a rape for the husband. So that was that. It was a mixture of anti-colonial nationalism, especially spearheaded by Lokmanya Tilak in Bombay. It was also you know, sheer orthodoxy.